Hey down this is Dave Desai, welcome back to my channel. Today we have some very fun and cute tea for you here. I wanted to talk about Ting being nude on a TV show. And apparently Big Hit not blurring or censoring that. I'm so shook. This has never happened before. We have never seen Taya, my husband, like this before. We also have Big Hit reportedly legally changing or something like they're no longer Big Hit. I think this is interesting and I wanted to get into that as well. So grab your dumpling tea spilling mug merch and let's get into the tea. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when some new video drops. And if you're a hater, like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now let's jump into it. The first thing I want to get into is a very crazy, cute and hot scene with Tang that came out like very recently. We're talking like I woke up this morning to just insanity. The internet literally probably broke in half. There was like a glitch in the matrix and we were blessed with this beautiful moment. Now if you're unaware what happened, BTS released their TV show weekly called Run BTS. And this was episode 132. Now episode 131, we were left off after the boys had played a water game and it was the funniest episode I have ever seen of them. And a lot of armies agreed to the point where it caused their side to hurt from laughing so much. I was indeed partaking in these side splitting festivities armies had going on. That's me trying to reach a word count in an essay. Now this run BTS episode, they continued their game and got each other wet. They were playing the bit where the members sat in the middle glass box and water just poured on them. It's fun because they even had the producer sit in the box near the end of the episode to see what it was like for BTS. Tang was in the middle for most of the episode though and he seemed to not really mind being there. It's funny because you don't really get a warning when something happens and then you just get hit and it's such a random surprise. Aside from our boys getting wet, because this is a conversation for another time, we are not here to talk about that. They showed a very quick shot of Jimin and Jin in what looked like kind of a hot tub, but there was no steam. I imagine it was a hot tub because they must have been cold all day and this was their way of heating up. But they were both fully clothed in the hot tub and definitely not six feet apart. So according to the vine, it's a little gay. But we love gay moments with BTS. And I am of course kidding, because it's not gay if you're fully clothed. Again, kidding. But they definitely knew that the cameras were rolling. So they wanted to be clothed, I guess. But interestingly enough, interestingly enough, Tan decided that he was not going to partake in the fully clothed festivities. He was going to go ahead and remove the shirt and get into the tub shirtless. Oh my lord, stop. What are you doing, Taehyung? This is illegal, I think. It's not allowed. I can't deal with it. Imagine dealing with it. Imagine what the editor saw. How can I be the swimming pool? I need a tutorial ASAP. I want to be the steam. I want to be the tub. I want to be the molecules in the air. Google search trends becomes how can I be a swimming pool. Sales of swimming pools skyrocket. Now this doesn't happen a lot. Like Tam posts these random shirtless pictures and then immediately deletes them. So he knows he can't be posting that stuff. Armies will go extinct. How many armies actually fainted? You tell me. It's your fault Tam. I am opening a health center, a rehab center. For those who have been not breathing by BTS being nude. I am taking applications, a link in the description. We will teach you how to breathe again, just in and out. I'm kidding. But a lot of people were not okay. I was reading some tweets on the tweets they're saying this. If he is Kim Taehyung, then who is he? Right? He looking buff too. Like the one on the left is Tata. That's Tata right there. Very cute. Then we have Kim Taehyung on the right. That little handsome devil is what that is. Like is he going to be doing acting or anything like that? He is ready for more mature roles. Hopefully more shirtless roles. Or maybe his mixtape will be more mature. And we will really die when it all gets released. Now there were other people on the tweetster who said this. Big Hit forgets to cover shirtless tan, so I did the job. It's interesting because Big Hit usually does. So I am so confuzzled by why it was shown, but not complaining. Like the editor's doing God's work. But like not to be all about the shirtless, Tang's hair also looks so good like that. He looks sexy with his hair pushed back for sure. I think he's also mentioned that this is his favorite hairstyle too. And it works very well for him. He looks like a mature daddy. He looks like he has kids, a wife, and a family. It's beautiful. I'm the wife, by the way. Just for those who don't know. Now you know. I love that BTS makes these episodes. They are really funny. And they give us ARMY something to fangirl about. While BTS is not putting out any music right now. It gives us peasants something to do. And also, I hope BTS is having a lot of fun doing this. I hope they're really enjoying filming these. And it's like a little vacation for them. We all know that they don't take breaks. So spending a day filming cute things like this, it's probably something that they need. We all can probably remember moments of us being being weird and goofy in a pool. And maybe they didn't have those memories growing up, so now they do. I'm glad Big Hit didn't censor Taeyang too. It starts to normalize the boys being shirtless, and hopefully they can just be shirtless going here on out and not think it's a big deal. Because even if we fangirl over it, it's not a big deal in general. 
Also, apparently male nipples are sensitive things in Korea. That needs to change. There is nothing really sexual about male nipples. They also don't do anything. Big hit, or maybe what they prefer to be called now, is HYBE Corporation, which I don't know what exactly that stands for. I know Hive is in it, but basically they wanted to remove the notion that this company was just an entertainment company. And so they wanted to remove the entertainment part in Big Hit, but the words Big Hit would also have ties with something being a hit or part of entertainment. This is just my theory, by the way. They haven't said this, but this is why I think they went with a whole new name. And they did this, and I think now legally the name has been changed or reportedly changed. But their website still seems to say Big Hit. This is probably due to the many endeavors Bang PD wants to go after. Obviously, let's say he wants his company to also do real estate. He would then have to start a new company because it wouldn't work with a name like Big Hit. Bang PD also came out and said this statement about this. We will move forward as the world's best entertainment lifestyle platform company. The word entertainment is omitted and it is a mission to have a comprehensive image as a comprehensive content group. Now, just to be clear, there's a lot of speculation online. Some think that HYBE is an extension of Big Hit and it's just another level to Big Hit, but Big Hit will still remain. Others think that Big Hit's name will be gone. I'm going by what the news reports have said and not the tweets online. If so, the change is smart. I think everyone in entertainment or anyone who makes content for people to watch, whether that's TV or social media, the concern is always how long will this last? Unless they're able to build a sustainable business around products and less on the idols needing to use their energy to make the products. They'll never be able to retire and still have money coming in. Does that make sense? So if Big Hit becomes, let's say, an advertising company, then they can hire people to create videos for advertising and the company can run itself without BTS needing to constantly work and never retire. It's really smart and it's a good business move. This way, BTS won't have to constantly work and bring in money for Big Hit. They can just chill and Big Hit can have their company going, even when BTS goes to the military. I didn't expect this move from them really, but in my opinion, it makes a lot of sense. Again, this is just my theory. They did not say this themselves. I think it's smart. I wanted to see what some people were saying about this on the tweets there. One person wrote, and that's why Big Hit will never be a part of the big three. This isn't about money, but legacy and history. And Big Hit fails on this so hard. I highly disagree. No matter what their name is or what their company is doing, 20 years from now, it will still never take away the fact that Big Hit or HYBE has created the biggest record-breaking group in the world. They will now become more than just an entertainment company and they won't be compared to the big three. The big three will be compared to Big Hit because Big Hit was able to do more in their time. And again, it's just a smart move, I think. For a business to stay afloat, you need to pivot when you can and do more. Try something different and keep going. I wish the best for them. And I think the official conference for all of this will be on the 30th. So we will see what happens then. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving comments. As always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check stuff out. I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or it getting taken down. So I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You can also get exclusive content over there, such as reaction videos, like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you would like to see over there. It's also very easy for me to interact with you guys over there as well. Link is in the top of the description and down below if you want to check it out. Also, anything you contribute over there gives back to this channel, helps me make better videos on there. I have a video over there explaining that, which is free to watch. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video. So click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>